Good afternoon. My name is Miss Amy and I'm from North Carolina Library and today we're going to use water bottles from your recycling to make some lovely flowers. So let me tell you what you're going to need. Your water bottles wash and dried, acrylic paints in whatever color you might have, some really strong scissors, and if you're younger you might want some adult parental vision. You'll also need paint brushes, a container for water, some floral wire, and if you'd like to take your flowers outside to decorate a garden, you might want some Mod Podge, and that you'll need some adult supervision with as well. So to start your craft, you want to take your recycled water bottle, and you're gonna take those strong scissors, strong pointy scissors, remove your label, and that's what your water bottle looks like. So you wanna make a cut down around that very first line that you see on your water bottle. So I'm gonna make a lot of popping and cracking. Sorry about that. And we're just gonna cut around in a circle. And this is what it'll look like when you're done. If you want to take a look also, you'll see that I've removed my water bottle cap. You'll need that for later, so don't get rid of that. To make your flower look pretty, you want to make five even cuts down to the center of the water bottle. So one, two, three, four, five. And for you, those of you who like to do things different. I like to try that every now and then too. I did try to make six cuts on my flower, but it won't stay open as pretty if you just do the five cuts that they recommend. So once you make the five cuts with your scissors, you want to gently peel back that plastic and it will lay back very nicely and start to resemble a flower. But you're not quite there yet because you want to take your scissors and you want to round off each section so that it looks like a petal. And then once you've done that, you're ready for your painting. But guess what? We're not going to paint the inside. We're actually going to flip our flower over and you're gonna paint the underside of the flower. So I'm just gonna do a little bit here to show you. You're gonna start where the cap would be and paint out towards the end of the petal. And you can use different colors. You can use all one color. If you use two different colors, try to let that first one dry because the second color is going to run together. And if you take a look at my sample, this is what the flower is going to look like when it dries. It looks really pretty. Now if you want to make a bouquet like I did, wait until your flowers are completely dry. Take your floral wire and cut a piece off. And what you're going to do is wrap it around where the lid would go. And then once you've wrapped that around, then you're actually going to take your lid that you saved from earlier and put that right on top. And then you can make a bouquet with your flowers just like that. So really easy craft for a rainy day, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.